This week, Adobe announced its new Generative Fill AI feature for Photoshop, and people are absolutely loving it. Today, we're looking at some of the most inspiring examples so far. Let's kick things off with the video that Adobe used to launch the product to give you a sense of the overview of what it can do. So of course, almost immediately people started experimenting with what it was actually useful for. And one of the key things from a day-to-day -day standpoint is retouching photos. In other words, using it as a faster way to do what Photoshop has always done. Next up, let's look at an example of image expansion and modification, opening up new creative possibilities with individual images. And how about a simple but incredibly effective use case of removing objects from photos? Removing objects can also be incredibly useful for landscape or travel shots. Terry White here, and have I got a magic trick for you. Have you ever wanted to get rid of those hundreds of people standing in front of your shot, in front of your scene, like I have here in my photo in Milan? Well, I can just highlight those people quickly with my lasso tool, and all I have to do is click Generative Fill and Generate, and let Photoshop do the rest. And just like magic, those pesky tourists are gone. Let me know in the comments how you like this tip and if you want to see more. Cheers, everyone. Catch you on the next one. Now, Howard caught some flack for taking a cute little dog out of his photos, so he wanted to show off another feature, which is adding objects back into photos as well. So, so far we've seen examples of image enhancement, image expansion and modification, removing objects and adding objects, but what about expanding an entire scene? Hey everyone, Terry White here, and by popular request, I've got another magic trick for you. Let's take a look. All right, let's address the elephant in the room or on the sidewalk. Let's, he's a little tightly cropped, so let's use our crop tool and go ahead and uncrop this area. Now that I've got it uncropped, I'm gonna take the magic wand tool and select the empty white area that I just created. We'll go ahead and expand that selection by about 20 pixels, and then we'll use the brand new generative fill with no prompt to tell it to magically fill in the areas. I got three to pick from. I kind of like this one, but we kind of need to give them a water source. So I'm gonna take my lasso tool and just draw an area right in front of the elephant, right on the sidewalk, and then we'll go right back to the generative fill. We'll type in a prompt this time, pool of water, and let Photoshop generate a drinking source with a reflection. And just like that, magic in Photoshop, new generative fill, killer feature. Cheers, everyone. Catch you in the next one. And speaking of scenes, let's bring it all together and really figure out how to create a scene, starting with a mid-journey base image and then adding objects until it becomes the image that's in one's mind.
Now, scene creation is one thing, but world creation is an entirely different thing. In this video, Coffee Vectors takes two images created with Midjourney and uses the generative fill feature to create an entire world around them. But of course, you know Chung Fan was gonna have the most impressive and important use case. So let's close it on a doozy. Anyways, guys, those are a few inspiring examples of how people are using Adobe's new AI in Photoshop, the generative fill feature specifically. I've just downloaded it myself. I'm excited to start playing around with it as well, and I will share what comes of that as it does. Stay tuned for the AI Breakdown Brief and the AI Breakdown, and I'll talk to you soon.